first day Thursday with more of today and a big kiss star. Mm -hmm. For nearly 40 years, Ace Fraley and his friends had fans rocking and rolling all night long. Now Ace opens up about his highs, no pun intended, and the lows of being in the band. In his new book, it's called No Regrets, a rock and roll memoir. Well, 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 well. 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 I guess well. part of it is, is that you are sitting in that chair alive. Yeah. I mean, yeah. after reading this book, you know. Yeah, how much of a miracle do you feel like? Every day above ground's good. <laughs> yeah. And so, that's, that's, I'm feeling that way today, too. Yeah. And, um, I'm not dirt napping. Yeah. No, that's true. But you surely could have been along this, yeah. this roller coaster ride of yours. Yeah, car accidents, drug overdoses, you know, the whole nine yards. Right, and then, then there were the women. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so that's the ni the nickname Ace. I kind of went easy on that in the book. Did yeah, you? Did you? Yeah. Now, wow. what is it? You apparently, since the early days, had a way with the, the girls, and that's why you got the, the nickname Ace, didn't you? Well, yeah, kind of. <laughs> I, you know, I, I don't like to toot my own horn, you know, like Gene does. Oh, oh, so we're starting on the GR. We're that's, getting that's, it. that's what's been getting all the headlines, of course. Yeah. Is you, you come down pretty hard on him, uh, but you said you, nothing you really haven't said before. Mm -hmm. I don't think anything I said surprised anybody or, you know. What is it about? Why did you guys have the beef? What was the problem with you and We Gene? never really had a beef. You know, the, people think there's this love hate thing mm -hmm. going on between me and Gene, but you know, I just had lunch with him five weeks ago at the Beverly Hills Hotel. We had a great afternoon. And yet you, know. you do t you write about uh, something that made you very, very angry. As he was editing a movie uh, that your daughter had, had taken yeah. a part in, and all, next thing you know, her, her part's edited out. You thought he'd done that purposely. It Why? Is, well, I know he was, you know, deeply involved with the editing, you know, process on a daily basis. So that's what I, you know. Did you ever ask him about it? No, you know, I didn't. You know, but I did hear that, you know, he came up at the last minute with a scene where his. Uh, it was a tongue effect. Yes. Mm -hmm. He's good at that. I think that was you know, replaced. I think that replaced well, her scene. Well, here's what he said. He said, we love Ace and we wish him the best. Sobriety isn't easy and he needs to surround himself with people who care about him enough to be uh, tough on him. Ace will win. I know it. Did you, so, re did you read what he put, said in page six the other day in the post? Not, not that uh, nice. Well, Tell us. Well, he, he, he said uh, Ace is an alcoholic and a drug addict and has been one for 35 years. But you kicked it. You said you... you, well, said, you it's an incorrect statement because I've actually been an alcoholic for about 40 years. Yes. <laughs> oh, but you, you have been sober for how long? Five years plus. Five years. Yeah, September yeah. 15th is my sober date and uh, I released my uh, last CD on uh, 2009, September 15th. Mm. And it's, it's, you know, you know, it's, been, a, it's out, been a good. You had started yeah. out with pretty humble beginnings. I mean, you, you, yeah. you and you were uh, a church-going family. You were a uh, very close family. My dad taught Sunday school. Yeah, and, yeah what know. happened? <laughs> uh, well, you know, I started hanging out with the wrong, the wrong crowd, crowd yeah. because I got tired of getting beat up. Yeah. And, you know, I started having a few drinks with the guys and... At the one, age of 11, you started. Yeah, you were young. One thing led to another, and you know, you get on this merry-go-round. Yeah. The only thing that really saved me was music, mm -hmm. because you know, I, I was just talking to somebody. And most of the friends that I hung out with when I was 13 and 14 are either dead or in jail or missing in action. Mm -hmm. What do you yeah. think would have happened to you had Kiss not become such a huge phenomenon? Well, I, I believe you know, I, I've always had the talent and the fortitude, you know, to be a rock star. If it wasn't Kiss, it would have been another band. Yeah. Okay. But, uh, you know, I was an integral part of, you know, the beginnings of Kiss. Yeah. You left Leaving it, it was t Was that tough yeah. to leave the group? You're right about leaving it. But it, you were talked back into it because there was a lot of money at stake. Yeah. Yeah, well, you know, I, I got into the music business because I was having a great time and I was having, uh, getting paid for it. When it wasn't fun anymore, I had yeah. to leave. All right. Well, there's a lot of, there's, of anecdotes mm -hmm. in that book. That's a nice way of putting it. Uh, <laughs> Ace, thanks for coming to see Thank us. You. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you so it. much, guys. Okay. Thanks, As he proved, everyone does have a...